So Universal helps you. You guys do the single thing or you release your singles, mm -hmm. album launches. In terms of, so you're done in April. This happens nine months later. Mm -hmm. When do you go back to making new music? And, and all of this doesn't seem like a distraction because it all seems like scheduled. It's all scheduled. So you know when it's coming. Yeah. Do you go right, right away into music or do you take some time off? What, how do you navigate so what's next? I think for any recording artist, it is then the, the balance of doing live shows. To spread the word about the album and the music that you just made. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And to live, make money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and exercise your, your craft. For me, I, there's nothing better in this world than performing being on stage. Like I love recording, but to be honest, I, I hate the recording process. I don't like being in that room. Everything inside just tightens up and goes, okay, I need to play perfect. How do you do that? You can't. No, you can't. I thrive on like the adrenaline of, of uh, live performances. And- Cause you can feel the people, the reaction, Yeah, you feel the people the when you're like excited. Recording, I just, I hmm. freeze. I start to freeze up and then as you you make a mistake and you're like oh shoot I, I need to do that again and you tense up even more and it just gets worse and worse how many people are on the other side of the glass watching you probably two okay Three. so that's not really the issue no no yeah. it's not them it's an internal thing it's, it's just me uh, and some people I, I know other pianists who are so on it for recording and hate the live aspect. They can't deal with the nerves of playing live. But in today's world, that's yeah. got to be your bread and butter. Yeah. So that's a very um, occupational hazard. Of yeah. Sorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But some famous, famous uh, pianists are are just they just can't deal with it because it doesn't matter how good you are, no one knows you if you're not out there. And that's a big problem. Sitting in your bedroom. It's interesting though, Video, you know, like YouTube, they, they have that convention, VidCon. Yep. So I went to that a couple of years ago and it was fascinating to see. They had a live stage for their uh, music influences, hmm. the people who have the, their channels, right? Huge followings. But they're, they are kids, if I can say kids, like in their teens, they're in their bedroom just with a camera playing guitar covers to the camera and everyone at home is watching. They went up on that stage and they could not hold an audience because there is that much more space now that you need to fill as a performer. So for me, the lesson I learned from that is you need to perform. You need to be out there and performing and doing your craft out there. You can't just sit behind a screen because it's, I don't think that's performing at all. That's, it's, it's so interesting because it is, vastly different right you know there's a comfort there exactly. of being in your room it's just your camera uh, if you make a mistake you can just re-record or whatever yeah. but if you if you're trying to hold someone's attention not just one person's but uh -huh. an audience of a hundred or a thousand you have to be larger much of a larger persona than you would be in just your bedroom the other word that comes to mind is consistency in terms of like discipline or in terms of practice uh, practice is obvious yeah. That that should be a given, but consistency of what you're putting out there. You know, for me, I get I get antsy that you know an album comes out once a year. I think that's not enough, but it is enough for me at this point in time because I need to tour it and I need to do my gigs. Then I need to find time to write it and then restart that process mm -hmm. again. Like I think for an album to come together, it takes six to nine months at least. I look at it like momentum. You know, you you need to. It takes time to build it. Yeah. But then once you have it. You have to keep it going. Yes. And stay in that space. Yes. And if you don't, it's mm. generally so much harder to start again. It's like you've been going to the gym every day. Now you've taken three months off and that first week is not ideal for anybody. And that's why I feel like I, I am afraid of taking holidays. It probably is a great thing for me in terms of inspiring me again to write. I love new spaces and I love meeting different types of people and hearing different, uh, smelling different things and hearing different uh, languages. You know, those things always contribute to creating for me. But being away from the piano for three weeks, that's scary. <laughs>